So how many of you guys are on Reddit as much as I am? Well, if you haven't heard yet, they're experimenting with something called Community Points, which is going to be on the Ethereum blockchain. So that's super exciting. If you haven't dug into that yet, don't worry because I've taken a lot of screenshots for you and I'm going to break it all down for you in this short and sweet video. Just sit back, relax, and just keep on watching. So I'm going to first go through the screenshots and then end this video with a more deeper dive sharing with you how it all works. So this is on my mobile app. When you open Reddit, you can slide out the menu and you see this wallet right right here. I click that brings me to this create your wallet lives on your phone. You can send and receive points. Everyone can see how many you have and transactions you make, but only you can control them. I click agree and continue. They generate wallets, pretty nifty animation. And then now time to protect your wallet. They recommend encrypting a backup on Reddit servers, but you can also do a manual one. So I clicked on the backup to Reddit button and then it asked me to create a master key that lets you recover your wallet if you lose access. It's gonna be backed up on the Reddit servers, but encrypted with your password so they can't access your wallet. So I added that, click next. Here it is, no points yet but you can learn what you can do in the FAQ. So I press the FAQ and it has all these different sections, right? The using points, what are they? Reputation, tipping and transfers, membership and voting, and then getting points to distribution, wallets, backup and recovery, and on the blockchain. And finally, in other section, how is this different from Reddit Karma that we all know and love, and also vote manipulation and so forth. So just a really quick summary sequence from them. Community points lets you own a piece of your favorite communities and get rewarded for your work. And you can get these by like contributing posts and comments and they represent your ownership of the subreddit. You can make your voice heard because in the polls, the more points you have, the more weight your vote has. You can also spend your points on things like badges, emojis, GIFs, and more. No one can take your points, not even Reddit. This is the censorship resistant part of blockchain. They live outside of Reddit, so only you can access them. So just a very quick thank you to our sponsors for this video, eToro, a very famous brokerage and trading platform. In the US, we have access to their full crypto trading platform and their super well-known social trading features. Now, if you're outside of the US, you can also have access to commission-free trading for stocks, commodities, indices, and much more. So like I mentioned, something that they're very well known for is their copy trading or social trading features. You can go on their page and check out various famous traders. You can take a look at their stats and take a look at all the trades they've made in the past and their performance, and you can copy them super easily, set various criteria, press copy, and you're done. When you go into your portfolio page, you'll be able to see your profit and loss and track that real time. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Definitely encourage you to check out eToro if you haven't already and back to our regular content. Okay, so back to a summary that I got from reading each and every subsection of that FAQ part that you saw earlier. They represent ownership of the subreddit. Different subreddits can call their community points different things as well. Currently opt-in, it's sort of a reputation system. You get it for posting and commenting. It's fully controlled by us Redditors lives on the Ethereum blockchain, and also communities can find unique ways to use them. They're giving some flexibility to what these community points can be used for. Reputation is one of them. It's a measure of your contribution, and it really highlights the most important members of a sub. And just like before, your balances are displayed next to your usernames. Memberships, right? You can buy special perks in your community like badges, animated emojis in the comments, GIFs, and more. And the points don't go to Reddit when you spend them, instead they get burned and just disappear forever. So if you don't have points, you can buy them from Reddit and then from their balance or their initial allocation, they'll burn those equivalent points. Voting, remember we said that it could affect voting on different subs? Well, if your subreddit will have points, you can see two different views of polls. One is the standard one vote per person and another one is the weighted by number of points. This way you can see how core members of a subreddit really feel about a certain topic. What about distribution, right? They're tallied and distributed monthly. Reddit generates a list and then the community can vote to approve it or not. Once it's finalized and published, Reddit will sign for each user so that they can claim on their blockchain with their private key. 
Reddit also gives you six months to claim your points after the finalizing and publishing of it. And besides your points that you get for this, the mods get 10%, Reddit 20%, and then the broader community, there's a batch for them as well of 20%. Also, they plan to initially release 50 million points. Over the first year, another 50 million points will be released. Each cycle will decrease, so it will taper off to 250 million total. And half of the burn points, remember when you spend the points, they get burned? Half of them will be introduced the following month. Hence, with this model at least, it will level off eventually, kind of like Bitcoin does. What about your wallet, right? You can see the points balance for each subreddit you have. You can spend them. And in order to access this part of your app, you'll need to follow a subreddit that has this enabled. And your wallet generates a key pair. We're kind of familiar with this in the crypto world already. And only you control your private key, but your public key is available for Reddit and other people to interact with. And once again, Reddit cannot control your points. This is a crucial part of the system and architecture. What about backup and security, right? The private key is kept on your phone. So if you lose your device, you're kind of screwed and Reddit can't recover it for you. Two ways you can secure it though. Store encrypted backup on Reddit server. In this case, of course, use a different password, not your Reddit password. That would be a bad idea for OPSEC. You can save a wallet recovery phrase. This is kind of like a 12 word seed phrase that we're so familiar with in the crypto space already. On the blockchain, what do they mean by that? It's gonna be on the Ethereum blockchain as an ERC20 token, which means it's independent of Reddit and you can own these pseudonymously. So if people don't know who you are on Reddit, you use some random username, your points, they also can't tie to your real life identity. This is not like karma at all because karma is centralized and they live only within the Reddit system. So even if Reddit shuts down, community points can still exist. And if you take that community elsewhere, you could still use that as a measure of ownership or contribution per se. So thank you guys for watching. What did you think about this? Are you a Redditor like me and are seriously excited about this? I have my fingers crossed and I hope this experiment is successful so that they roll it out for everyone and it reaches mass adoption. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys support me by liking this video, subscribing down below, and why not check out these videos up here to watch more of our content. This is Kevin. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you guys next time.